Hi, and welcome to your post-op instructions. I'm Amanda, one of your implant coordinators, and I will be going over the do's and don'ts during your recovery. The first important don't is no pressure inside the mouth. This means no smoking, no straws, no gargling and spitting, and no blowing the nose. Please also avoid heavy lifting and vigorous exercise. This should be avoided for the first two weeks of recovery. It is normal to experience swelling, bruising, and bleeding after the procedure in the first week or two of recovery. This is very normal, but we also encourage our patients to reach out if they have any concerns on their recovery. This swelling can be relieved using ice packs in the first three days, 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. This will help target the outside of your face. Cold soups, drinks, ice cream, and yogurts can be used to provide cold relief inside your mouth. After three days, it is best to switch to heat packs, 15 minutes on and 15 minutes off. Some individuals will be more prone to bleeding during recovery and a moistened caffeinated tea bag placed over the bleeding site for 15 minutes can help control that at home. If you are concerned with your bleeding, do not hesitate to call us. Mild fever and nausea are common in the first few days. Sore throat and neck is also common from anesthetic. Small bone particles may work themselves out of the surgical site for up to six weeks after the surgery, and this is normal. Please follow the instructions in the first few weeks to avoid rinsing large portions of it away. Numbness and tingling in the lips and tongue on the lower can occur even after the anesthetic has worn off. It can last a few weeks and in some cases months. Time will take care of this and it is completely normal. Please remember to avoid smoking in the first two weeks after surgery. The longer you can avoid smoking after surgery, the higher chances of a successful outcome. For diet, please remember for the first two weeks, nothing too hot or spicy as it can irritate your gums. Nothing with little grains or seeds that could get into the surgical site and no carbonated drinks as it may cause dry socket. After this time, it is important to still only eat foods that is soft enough to be squished with a fork easily. Anything more firm or crunchy can cause the implants not to integrate properly. For cleaning your new set of teeth, for the first week you can brush them very gently on the outside and inside and let the toothpaste gently rinse out. Any areas with natural teeth not involved in the surgery, you can clean as normal, just avoid vigorous rinsing. After a week and when instructed by the doctor, you may begin using your water pick. This is how you will clean underneath your new set of teeth. This is very important to a successful outcome and should be done two to three times a day. You will have dissolvable stitches after your surgery and they will likely rinse out when you begin using your water pick. Finally, there's your post-care medications. We will have sent in a prescription and you should have picked up the medications prior to your surgery. You will have already started your antibiotics and should finish the full amount prescribed afterwards. You will have the pain medication prescribed to start after the surgery, taking it as instructed every four to six hours. Overall, take it easy. You have just had major surgery and your mouth and body will need time to recover. Remember, this is a small step in your wonderful journey to your new smile. Soon enough, you will be enjoying all the foods you love and smiling with confidence.